This is the Wheels Park here, just outside the city centre of Birmingham. As you can see, it's a motorcycle training centre, amongst other things, lots of different facilities here. Of course, they do CBT here. Well, we've brought three pupils along today to have a go at their CBT, so let me introduce you to our star pupils. First thing you want to do, just go through your names, a little bit of what your previous experience on a motorcycle is. Start with you guys. My name's Scott Kirbulad, and I've never rode a motorcycle before. Okay. So I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to learning about all the safety issues. You have nothing to worry about, don't worry. We'll okay. look after you. Joe Frazier, I'm here today to learn the safety features I need to have on when I go out there and ride. Excellent. Good Thank positive you. attitude. Thank you. Here. Same thing, never ridden. I'm pumped up. Get on the 25s. <laughs> Can't wait. Totally stoked to be here. What you do gain is a certain amount of integral protection. Uh, you paying attention to this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was drifting on. <laughs> So this right here, is, yeah. wouldn't be considered a helmet? Probably not. If it's not got a BS standard on it, I, I got the, would it's not recommend. It's made out of poly cotton. <laughs> it's got this uh, 50% polyester and 50% cotton blend. But I, I heard in the States you can get away with using these as helmets. <laughs> Honda CG125, four stroke, 125cc motorcycle. Okay, same thing, but I'll stood up. Same thing. First of all, standing up on the bike, I would class as being pretty dangerous. To the pilot. <laughs> Much duckable. <laughs> now that's not what I told you to do, is it? <laughs> right. I thought that was fantastic, really, really entertaining. But <laughs> well, the man who really matters is Mike Lloyd, all the instructor here. So, Mike, um, how were the guys? Were they all right? I, th I think, you know, we've got a little bit of work to do. <laughs> we've got a level here where there is some machine control, but I mean, I think at the end of the day, my main recommendation would be a small car. <laughs> yeah. Have you actually seen any of the, the guys' videos or anything like that before they arrived today? I I've got to say, once I was warned that I was going to be doing this today, I did watch one of the videos last night and I didn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the bikes are in one piece, aren't they? Yeah, they are. To give the guys a due, they behave themselves pretty well today. I think it's only when I turn my back that they did mess around. Generally speaking, there's got to be a level of respect there for the machine control that they've got. Well, they did mess about a bit because when you nipped in there for, for a break or something, you said, take 10 minutes, guys, park the bikes up. When you came out, I think one was stood on the seat, one was riding backwards and one was uh, riding over the grass. <laughs> so what you're telling me really is, do I have a job still? <laughs> I think you do. You weren't here actually to control it at the time, so, cool. so we can't blame you for that. No, but they did all right, didn't they? They did well. They're good. Yeah. They're good riders, aren't they? They are. You know, I think it's a real surprise by the way they behaved. And I'm really, you know, to be fair to them, they were genuinely interested in the law over here and the safety aspect because they have nothing like it in the States. Well, they don't even have a law where they live. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They just do what they want. Right, okay, so it's a good advert for your CBT, you see, isn't it? If the Starboys can do it, anyone can do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Fully.